Hey guys, let's do some more dyeing. So in week two of our uh, World of Wool Luxury Advent Calendar, we had two whites. So the first one was day 12, which is, oh, yeah, I have to be very careful with this one. This is Superfine Merino, Mulberry Silk, and Cashmere. So lovely but I'm gonna risk it and I'm gonna dye it so the other white we had in our second week was day 14 which is called faux 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 as in oh, let it snow but this is faux so this is faux cashmere and bio nylon and it is like so soft so both of those should take the dye. We're going to dye it and find out how it looks when we're done. I'm going to reposition the camera and we'll get dyeing. All right, here we have day number 12, which is merino, mulberry silk, and cashmere. It is beautifully soft. but we're gonna dye it so we are going to start with i have some midnight black right here just gonna give that a bit of a shake we're gonna plop that in the bottom of our measuring cup we're gonna add some citric acid We're going to top her up with some water. Now, the sapphire black does like to break, which is kind of what I'm going for here. Sapphire black, midnight black. Don't ask me where the sapphire black came from. Wow, good brain. I'm going to add a little bit more citric acid because I want to try and encourage this to break and give me multi colors on the same fiber in the same bath. All right, here we go. Sorry, I just shaken out my fiber here. Okay, so I've just got it spread out like this. And we're just going to go and dip it in. Now, I probably should have wet my fiber first, but I didn't. So I'm just going to hold that under for a minute. You can see how it's brown here. Yeah, it definitely does not want to take in that water. I should have pre-soaked it. Oh, there's silk in it. That's why. If you're dyeing silk, you should always let it soak for a good long while before you put it into your dye bath because the silk really resists the water. It resists absorbing the water. There we go. Now it's starting to take it up. All right. I'm going to let it sit like that for a while and just absorb that water. I am going to add a little more hot water though. And I'm gonna keep checking. Okay, that looks like it's well saturated now. I may have used too much dye, it may not break. And it's making more chocolate brown than a midnight black. So let's try dipping a little more. Oh, there we go. Now it's starting to break. Okay, all of you go in now. Okay, perfect. There, you can see the water is already starting to clear and it's gonna give a little bit of a purple tint to the ends. 
I kind of missed my mark. I should have been dipping sooner. Oh, well. Now, seeing as how this is very fine fibers, like super fine merino and cashmere, I'm going to force myself to leave it alone. And just put it to the back of the counter to cool. And we will move on to the next one. So this is day 14. I have to keep track of all my fibers, so I'm kind of shuffling the bags around with them. Now, day 14 is the faux faux faux. So this is faux cashmere and bio nylon. You can see how twisty it is. So I'm just shaking it out. And there we go. Ready to roll. All right, now, because this is faux, it's not gonna felt. So we can have some fun with this one. I'm gonna put some more water on the boil. I'll be right back. I should invest in one of those one minute kettle things. All right, so first thing you need to do, add some citric acid. Stir until that's all melted in. All right. Then I'm going to plop this in. Oh, this is so soft. I'm telling you the faux cashmere. Whoops. <laughs> don't push too hard. Um, faux cashmere is amazing. I love it. I don't know how they managed to make something fake feel that great, but it's fabulous. All right. So we're letting that soak up the water that I did not spill on the counter. All right. Now, I have here my little syringe. I am Dr. Chaos. After all, I should have a syringe. So let's start with, hmm. Okay, let's go sky blue. I'm we'll just take a syringe full of this, just jam it in there. Now that fiber is packed in there. So it's like an effort to get it in. I put that whole syringe in there and you can't see any of the color all around the outside other than what's leaking up from the top. Okay. So that's two syringes of sky blue. I'm going to let that soak in for a couple of minutes. It's making really cool patterns here. I say a couple of minutes. It's generally a couple of seconds. All right. And then we're just going to lift it up. Let that disperse and then on the top I'm gonna dump some Amazon green all right now I'm gonna let that sit for a minute and absorb and we're gonna be back to flip it over so hang tight all right, I've let that soak for a little bit, and now I'm going to flip it. There we go. Now, what should have happened, I don't know if it actually will, is 
that blue should have stuck to the inside of the fiber and the green should coat the outside. But I may have used too much green and not enough blue. We'll see what happens for now. We're going to set that aside and we'll let it soak up the dyes. All right, so day number 12 has been sitting for a while. This was day 12 is merino, silk, and cashmere. And we were trying to break the black, which it looks like we have successfully done. There is still a bit of color in the water, but I'm impatient. So this is what we'll end up with. Hold on a second. <clears throat> Let me pull that fiber out. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we can get a look at it. Oh, look, we did get a nice break in there. There's some blues and purples and blacks and whites. Oh, this is going to be fun to spin. That black struck beautifully. I cannot believe that. It's actually black. That never happens. All right. I'm going to take this for a wash. Very careful wash. I don't want to felt it, although I probably will. But since I'm going to be the one using it, I'm fine with that because it won't be felted hard. It'll just be slightly felted if I'm not careful, which I'm generally not. So, you know, likely to happen. But I'm going to get this rinsed up, put it out to dry, and we will come back and examine the results when everything is fully dry. All right. See you then. I think we are ready to pull this out of the dye bath. Hmm, there's a bit of color left, but I'm not going to worry about that little bit. Those are just little tufts of fiber in there. So this was day 14. Oh, which is our faux faux faux. Yes, look at how that struck. It's exactly what I wanted. Maybe a little less white, but that's okay. So we got the blues. And those greens, oh, it turned out so pretty. Because it's all nylon, I'm not worried at all about felting with this one. So I will manhandle it as much as I want. But it turned out so pretty. I'm so excited. All right, I'm going to get this one washed up and set it out for drying. And when it's dry, I will be back to show you the end result. All right, here we have day number 12. Now it's still a little bit damp, but it is mostly dry. So this is Queen Speech. So it's super fine merino, mulberry silk, and cashmere. Now look how that silk just shines. Now this is the one that I tried to break the black dye. So it did break to a certain extent, but it did not dry black. It looked black when it was wet, but it is actually a chocolate brown. And I am not sad about that because the way the bluey purple came out of the dye, it looks amazing. Did not felt at all. It's very soft and fluffy. And it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, again, a surprise. I was not expecting this brown to come out of it, but it is gorgeous. And that silk just gives it a little pop of shine. See, 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 woo -hoo. And here's a close up of the brownie blue. Now I need to fluff it a little better. It's still a little too damp to fluff properly, but it's coming along quite nicely, and I'm very, very pleased with it. Oh, it's so soft. You have no idea how soft this is. Look at the way the silk shines in that blue. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> All right, let's see what the next one is. Day 14 is our faux faux faux. So this is faux cashmere and bio nylon. And it's still damp as well, so it needs to be fluffed. But I wanted to show it to you and get these videos gone going. 
Look at how those colors came out so vivid. And there's some little patches of white, which are going to blend out to make like some pastel shades along there. But it takes the dye so nice, nice vivid coloring. And we've got like this ocean thing going here that I'm quite pleased with. Although I guess it could be like Christmas trees, a forest by a lake in the snow. If we wanted to get all artsy and fartsy, which sometimes I do, but it is, oh, it's so soft. Seriously, if you get a chance, try the faux cashmere. It's amazing. Amazing. So that's day 14. And that is also the conclusion of week two of the WOW Advent Calendar. I hope you're enjoying this because I am loving this calendar. It's fabulous. Oh, so happy. So if you want to see week three, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. If you don't want to see week three, then just move on to the next video. <laughs> it's entirely up to you. I'm just having a lot of fun with this calendar. So thanks for joining me for today, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Dr. Chaos, out.